This is a preview to starting the blind horse in her saddle. So we've already taught her how to accept the bit and how to flex. That's a must uh, with any horse that you're starting under saddle, whether the horse is blind or the horse can see. But in this case, she's blind and some of the training does change. But as far as the bit work goes, uh, the, I do the same thing with blind horses, uh, starting them under saddle. And we're just gonna flex her and have her flex a little bit. Then we'll go to the blanket, uh, teach her how to accept a blanket from both sides so with the blind horse they go off feel and sound uh, when we're working with them they also have the smell and taste but when, during the training they're going to go off feel and sound and that's how you want to work with them uh, when they can no longer see and this you know Belle went blind later on in life but she was never started under saddle so we did a lot of work with her getting her ready to be started under saddle as far as the bit work goes and a lot of desensitizing on her sides because she became very touchy when she went blind so now we're going to go to the saddle and I'm just going to put the saddle on like I would uh, put the saddle on any other horse you know I just put it up there like the horses had saddle on all their life now I do that with any horse and then I'm going to go ahead and flex them uh, start doing some bit work with them uh, the saddle's not cinched up yet and she does run her head into me a little bit here and there but don't take that as her uh, being disrespectful because she's not being disrespectful she really can't see so you know we're her eyes and every now and then if you do have a blind horse you'll know what I'm talking about sometimes they're gonna move their head and they're gonna accidentally bump you with their head so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make sure the cinch is right where I want it before I uh, uh, start working with the cinch and getting her cinched up and I'm just gonna go back to uh, flexing her a little bit, disengaging that hip a little bit. I'll do this from both sides. Again, this is only a preview. If you wanna see the full video, uh, go to Google, type in Mike Hughes Horsemanship uh, page, click on the link and subscribe. And we'll go back into that more in a minute. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cinch her up. I'm only gonna cinch her up tight enough to where the saddle won't come off, but loose enough to where I would not get on. That's really important that we do that. Then I'm gonna go back into working with her hips, disengaging her hips a little bit, and uh, from both sides. So on my membership site, there's 280 videos that are in full length with step-by-step, easy-to-follow methods. Also with a three-day uh, free trial, a three-day free trial. So now here we go into the mounting and dismounting so i'm gonna put my foot just put my foot in the stirrup she moves a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, ask her to come back forward flex her and have her disengage those hips and then we'll go back to work on uh, mounting again she can only feel she can't see what i'm doing but she can feel and she can hear so i do a lot of talking with blind horses and there she uh, moved off a little bit but i'm gonna kind of hop around with her a little bit flex her and now she's standing nice and still i'm gonna go halfway up in the saddle cross my legs or she's a little off balance but that's all right and then i'm gonna come right down she did great then i'm gonna do the same thing on the right side so again this is only a preview to how to start the blind horse under saddle again i have 280 videos on my membership page are in full length with step-by-step -step, easy to follow methods right now there's a free trial so now i just went ahead and sat on her um she moved her hip a little bit that's all right and i'm gonna go ahead and get off and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing from the right side. I'm gonna go ahead and go halfway up, then I'm gonna get all the way on. So as long as we take the lessons plans and we break them down into steps that the horse can understand in a calm and relaxed manner, then it's always gonna be the simple, whether the horse is blind or not blind, whether the horse is deaf or not deaf, whatever the case may be. We break it down into enough steps that the horse can understand in a calm, relaxed manner. They all can do this. So we hope you enjoy the videos, these preview videos. We hope to see you on the membership site. Thank you.